Leave it to others to point to Cardinal Sean O'Malley as a papal contender. He's having none of it. I haven't lost any sleep about it, and I have, <laughs> I, I have bought a round-trip ticket, so uh, <laughs> I'm counting on coming home. But that hasn't stopped prominent American Catholics from making O'Malley's case. Former Miami Mayor Javier Suarez worked with O'Malley in poor Hispanic neighborhoods during the 1970s. I don't think he would deviate on doctrinal matters, but he would, uh, I think he would change a lot of the pastoral things. The, the role of women in, in, in church activities, I think, would increase a lot. The role of lay people. O'Malley speaks six languages, worked in Latin America, and belongs to the Capuchin Order, known for simplicity. Uh, we have this simple one-piece tunic with hood attached. Brother Celestino Arias lives in a Boston friary O'Malley often visits. He's dealing very firmly uh, with the, the scandal in several dioceses now. People can criticize particulars, but he's been very firm and consistent in his critique. And I think for the church to regain some of the credibility that it's lost, this is vital. They're harmed children. O'Malley inherited the child abuse scandal when he came to Boston in 2003. He's tried to restore the credibility of the diocese, in part by reaching legal settlements with more than 500 abuse victims for $85 million. I don't hate the man, but I don't, I don't appreciate where he's left us off. Bernie McDade was abused by a priest. He complains O'Malley was slow to release names of alleged pedophile priests. Would this man make a good pope? If he can open up and see that there's more to this than just the settlements in his job, he probably could be something special for this church. Cardinal O'Malley says the papacy is something that he's never aspired to, but if he is called, he says it will be God's will. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, Boston. CBS News will be in Vatican City for live coverage of the conclave beginning Monday on CBS This Morning and right here on the CBS Evening News.